Welcome back everybody, hope you guys are doing well. Today we're going to be talking about office work environments and how incredibly creepy technology has gotten. So without beating around the bush or anything, let's just go straight to the meat of this, right? I found this tweet by The Verge which says Canon put AI cameras in its Chinese offices that only let smiling workers inside. Now this is hands down the creepiest and most toxic and unhealthy thing I have ever seen seen in a workplace environment other than straight up harassment by your boss or like nuclear leakage or something you know what i'm talking about okay but yeah can you imagine like showing up to work and the door won't open until you give a fake smile to this psycho freaking robot over here look at that absolute death device for dude it's like a dementor from harry potter sucking the life out of you like i get the message that okay you're, you're supposed to be happy in a work environment but how about you you make the environment so that it's a happy place to work in and then employees won't have to force a smile because forced positivity is 10 times worse than like actually just showing your feelings you know like many people actually don't know this but forcing yourself to smile and like you know lying to yourself like that is really bad like if you feel bad frown okay if you feel like crying go cry okay it's healthy you shouldn't force yourself to smile that's a horrible thing to do that was straight up like poison your mind and screw up your emotions these are emotions are like you need those things okay the happiness isn't the only emotion and ha having happiness all day every day is super toxic and will probably make you insane but yeah pretty much you guys know how much employees are overworked in certain offices and it's not just chinese offices all around the world bro people are overworked to their absolute core and because of this or maybe because they're not satisfied with their job they don't know what they're they don't like what they're doing they don't know what they're doing or something like that you know depression ensues right if you if you work a corporate job you know there, there's a pretty good chance you're depressed especially after being there for a couple years and honestly i feel like it's really twisted to even try and do this this just looks like Bro, this looks like something you'd see in North Korea, you know? Keep that smile up or you're not getting outside. Like, what? N next thing you're gonna do, there's gonna be like five minute checkups. You better be smiling at all times. And you're like, your face is straight up gonna hurt, bro. That's my you need muscles to smile. So as the internet does, a bunch of people were just completely memeing the situation because it's just, it's just weird. Like, here we have this picture. I mean, it's kind of appropriate, honestly. Here we have the people from that game. I forgot what the game was called, but... Em Employee 2312, are you not happy to be here? It was, it was this whole game about like, I don't know, fake happiness or something. I don't, I don't remember the game at all, but I remember these guys and they're definitely from that game. Somebody comment below, what was this game? I, I need to know. There is no depression in Chinese offices and they've put this image of this woman and uh, essentially it's like this psycho Dai Li agent from Avatar The Legend of Aang or Avatar The Last Airbender. And she's part of this insane brainwashed cult. So, uh, yeah, y you know what's going on here. Like, these psycho companies always want to portray to the media, like, Oh, we're fine. We're all nice. All our employees are nice and happy. But in reality, they're, like, completely depressed. And now they're forcing them to smile. Bruh. Bruh. Any, any like, psychologist or anyone who studies, like, human emotion or anything like that would be able to tell you how harmful this is and how much of a psychopath it makes you look like. Now, obviously, it's Twitter, so some idiot takes it the wrong way, as usual. Like, literally. Like, they stated that, you know, Canon installed these cameras, and this person responds, Are we really going to pretend that American corporate at HR doesn't constantly coerce employees into faking happiness and contentment and that the only reason they don't do this kind of thing is because they're cheap, regressive, and unimaginative? No, actually, nobody ever said America was any better. This happens in all parts of the world, literally every single place. There's going to be an oppressive work environment, you know? Just because someone said a Chinese workplace could possibly be depressed doesn't automatically make American workplaces happy. You are, an you are the epitome of a Twitter user. Jesus Christ, stop getting offended over everything. It's annoying. Like, wow. So this person said literally everyone when it is checking if they're smiling. <laughs> oh, yeah, guys I, I'm, I'm just doing well imagine imagine like showing up to school like this is probably more relatable to you guys Right, you can't you can't enter the classroom until you smile into a camera It's got to be like this big wide smile on your face like what if you were depressed? What if your mom died the previous day? <laughs> like are they gonna force you?
see the freaking smile, bro. The door won't open. Imagine they put it on the washroom, bro. Like like the straight up toilet. Like you you want to go to poop, but you got to smile while you're freaking constipated or something. Oh, what's that? You have diarrhea and need to go really urgently. You better put on a big fat smile on your face, pal. I knew this picture was going to be posted in the replies, but I'm just going to post it anyways. We're not going to say the three letter word that begins with S and ends with S because honestly, I'm sick of it, okay? I hear it endlessly. My name is Pega word okay it sucks it sucks why i, I want to delete the game off the internet please i'm sure this woman in the picture is very very happy i mean it looks like she's smiling she literally looks like she's being held at gunpoint like right like if you pan over the camera there'll probably be a guy with a gun like you, you know you see this camera and there's nobody behind her but i feel like that's a that's a pre-installed picture bro so here we have the article which goes into more details and as to why they did this tech company can Canon has come up with a downright dystopic way to tackle the problem of workplace morale. It's installed cameras with AI-enabled smile recognition technology in the offices of its Chinese subsidiary Canon Information Technology. The cameras only let smiling workers enter rooms or book meetings, ensuring that every employee is definitely 100% happy all the time. That is so weird. This is rooms or book meetings. Jesus Christ. Dude, I don't think the people at Canon even realize that just because a person is smiling doesn't mean that they're happy and content with their life or anything like that. You can force someone to smile. You can't force someone to be happy, okay? That's just not how it works. Happiness is not an emotion that can be manipulated simply by forcing someone to smile, okay? It's not gonna, like, kick some endorphins into your brain and suddenly make you happy. Sure, there are things things you could do that could probably make them happy like I don't know make the workplace environment a bit better and, and stop installing psycho dictatorship like cameras this depressing tale was highlighted in a report from the Financial Times on how Chinese companies are surveilling employees to an unsettling degree with the help of AI and algorithms Firms are monitoring which programs employees use on their computers to gauge their productivity using CCTV cameras to measure how long they take on their lunch breaks and even tracking their movements outside the office using mobile apps. Oh my god! Bro, this is no joke. They're not even gonna give you a minute to breathe. Like, they're monitoring how much time- Like, they're monitoring their computers, obviously, which they have to do as a company. They should just probably, like, block out twitter.com or like you can't download things or something but taking into account how long you spend on each website or whatever and then cameras to like track your lunch break bro it's a break for a reason god damn it's a lunch break man let the man eat a sandwich bro it was nutella it's delicious please and then what happened to the phrase nine to five you monitor them nine to five that's also not enough outside the office using mobile apps Bro, you're tracking them 24-7 like a complete insane stalker. How is this even legal? What what kind of contracts are people signing, dude? Like, I, I know the paycheck. I mean, these people are probably, like, drived into a position where this is probably the only job they can even take up. And it's just these insanely oppressive people. But yeah, honestly, if you're one of these people who has a choice whether to work at these companies and, you know, there's another job, take the other job. Jesus Christ bro. Clearly, Canon knows nothing about how to foster a good workplace environment, bro. This sounds like the Ellen show, you know, like, oh, smiles and giggles, wait, 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 wait. I'm the nicest person in the world, and then behind the scenes, how toxic were they? And then this camera system, bro, is just gonna reinforce that type of stuff. As the King's College London academic Nick Smyrnit, that's, that's an odd name, bro, told the FT, workers are not being replaced by algorithms and artificial intelligence. Instead, the management is being sort of augmented by these technologies. Technologies are increasing the pace for people who work with machines instead of the other way around. Just like what happened during the Industrial Revolution in the 18th century. 
Okay, so what I'm getting from this is instead of replacing humans with robots, they're turning the humans into robots, which is even creepier, bro. I'm just saying. Listen, if I ever have to work a job, you ain't turn me into a robot, bro. I'm a human. I'm a human. Remember it. Fellows, all the robot movies are coming true. Protect yourself. Oh my god. Canon Information Technology actually announced its smile recognition cameras last year as part of a suit of workplace management tools, but the technology doesn't seem to have gotten much attention. Indeed, the fact that it passed under the radar is a good illustration of just how common surveillance tools like this are becoming, and not just in China. Exactly. This is like all over the world, bro. People want to squeeze the life out of you, bro. You, If you ever had an oppressive employer, they're going to squeeze out as much time as they can from your life. You're just another tool to them. They don't really care about you, bro. They just want you to do work, work, and work and they'll pay you an absolutely disgusting, oppressive, meager salary, bro. Although readers in the West sometimes have a tendency to dismiss the sort of surveillance described by the FT as a foreign phenomenon, I mean, bro, Americans always gonna be stupid, they're just gonna be like, oh, yeah, it's a China thing, like, shut up, dude. Countries like the US and UK are just as culpable. Amazon is perhaps the prime example of this dynamic. It's known for squeezing every ounce of effort from its warehouse workers at the expense of their health and even ranking their productivity using algorithms before firing those at the bottom of the scale. Now after hearing all of this a bunch of people might be like oh yeah uh, obviously they're using uh, algorithms to determine productivity because they want to make a profit so obviously they're going to fire those at the bottom of the scale. That's not the point okay there's other ways to determine how productive your workers are. I feel like this is getting to the point of human rights violations right you you can't be monitoring your employees all the time. I feel like people have forgotten what it means to be human, okay? You, what it means to actually live life and not be an absolute, like, detestable worker to a company. Such modern-day tailorism is not restricted to blue-collar jobs either. Many modern suits like Microsoft 365 come with built-in surveillance tools, and with more people working from home because of the pandemic, more companies are deploying these features for fear of losing control over their work. Workers. Listen, honestly, some companies are rightly concerned about this stuff. Like, okay, yeah, it is a pandemic, and I guess when you're working from home, it's harder to control your workers because they could be straight up slacking off 24 hours a day, and, um, you know, you might not be able to tell. So, you know, there's a bunch of ways to counteract that. It's kind of like, you know, the teacher doesn't keep an eye on all the students all the time, but there is a literal exam, and then if they don't get good, they know they were slacking off, right? Pretty much like that, you should set objectives for each employee and if they can't complete it they can't complete it okay and then they're not working and then you can tell you don't need to go to these extreme lengths and monitor every single thing they do that's just weird and okay you you can rightly be concerned but also, I feel like some companies are taking advantage of this concern to be more oppressive. Or for a slightly more cynical read, they've always wanted to use these tools, and the pandemic provides a handy pretext exactly that the article got it to. In other words, AI-enabled smile recognition cameras are in many ways the least dangerous types of surveillance technology. They have the benefit of being obvious. Other systems of control are much more subtle, and probably coming to an office near you sometime soon. Bro, this is such an ominous and creepy message, bro. I don't want to go to sleep and wake up knowing that I have to force myself to smile just to get into, like, a mall, maybe. I don't know. Honestly, this really reminds me of an anime known as Psychopaths. I don't know if you guys have seen it. It's a very disturbing anime where essentially there's, like, this gun, right? And the gun is, like, a crime coefficient detector. Essentially, this gun will, like, read your movements or whatever the heck and, you know, your your pulse and all of that and determine if you're a criminal or not, okay? So, if, if someone, like, straight up beats someone in front of the street and the gun determines you're not a criminal, then it literally won't shoot and the police can't do anything. But the gun is, like, mostly right, but there's a lot of exceptions to it and that's the whole basis for the anime. Essentially, technology getting way too far and going insane and trying to control everybody, right? And 
pretty much in the anime, it turns society into complete chaos, and the main characters are trying to shut down the system and completely, like, overrun it, right? It's pretty much humans versus robots all over again, guys. I'm so scared. It's all over for us. GG. Anyways, listen, if you're a boss in an office trying to employ this, please don't, okay? I'm, it's weird. It's weird. That's probably enough for you to not employ it. And I assure you, this will not boost happiness in the workplace. People will just get really mad at you, and a 50% chance they'll probably quit, okay? So stop the madness. Okay, before I absolutely explode, let's end the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you so much for watching. You better like this video immediately, or I'll track your comments. <laughs> That's right, you typing right now. I can see you.